and welcome to Barley Buds, a video podcast where we taste, discuss, analyze, and rate beer. This is episode two. Last week, we analyzed stouts, and this week, we will be diving into the world of sours. Sours are light and refreshing ales that are bright in flavor, often tart or tangy, and are typically lower in alcohol, but are easy to drink. Included in the family of sours are Berliner Weiss, Lambic, and Goza. My name is Manny. Let's see how everyone's doing tonight. Alti, what's going on with you? What's up, Manny? Everybody, welcome to the shit show. My name is Bill. Uh, happy Memorial Day. I'm going to be reviewing a taco cat today. Never had it. Um, never heard of it. So it should be good. Off to you, Rye. Going on, guys. I'm uh, I'm Ryan, and uh, I'm going to be reviewing a Goza from Counterweight, a little local brewery. So, what do you got, Jim? What's up, JD? Happy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I'm going to be doing a sour, a Berlin Weiser, and uh, we'll see how this goes. It's actually an older beer. It's been sitting for a little while. And uh, hopefully you guys are all having a good weekend, a good day. And uh, Defo. What's up, everybody? I got the uh, going with the surf tonight. Did the turf last week with the stouts. Going to be good. Um, also going to get a little Pink Whitney going here for everybody. So, uh, Roland, what do you got? Well, happy Memorial Day, even though it was really, really crappy weather and it was a waste of a day off up here. But enjoy the rest of the weekend i'll be doing a sour as well because it's sour week i can't stand sour things but i'm gonna give it a go we're gonna be doing the uh, jam up the mash collective arts brewing can't wait it's gonna be great matt what's going on tonight all right here we go boys i'm gonna start us off i'm doing a sazerp i guess you'd pronounce that from uh, Huff Hearted Brewery, you know, I like right on the back, uh, there's a little note on the back there that says, uh, beer for idiots, made by morons, so don't be stupid, drink up, you big dummy, you know what, that, that hits home, that's perfect for us, and uh, I'm drinking out of the uh, brewmate tonight, you can't see the pour, but just trust me, it's perfect. Based on last week's pour, I'm going to go ahead and disagree. Oh, that's rough. Last, last week's was on point. <laughs> last week's pour was pretty legendary. Uh, then who's, who, somebody screwed up last mine. week. Mine. That was mine. Matt, what do you got there? Is that a brewmate? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. It smells super sour. And it says right there, sipping on scissor. <laughs> <laughs> I believe there was a uh, rap song back in the day about that. <laughs> I was say, that sounds like a lyric of some song I can't remember. Matt, what's the color look like? Can you t- tilt it a little? Um, no. It's, it's, it's literally just seems normal, like normal Damn. colored. It's not like a fruit, like a peach color or anything. It just seems normal. So I can see all the way down to the bottom of the brewmate. Is it brewed with fruit or is it... Uh... It is brewed with a pineapple and passion fruit. I smell it, but I mean it's it's definitely a sour. I'm a, I'm with Roll here. I'm not the biggest fan of sours. I like them, but I don't love them. Um, I'm not gonna rate this shit. I like to wait until I'm done because I rated beers off first sips and given it a high score, and then by the end of the can i literally can't even finish it so uh right now i mean you can literally smell the sourness you can taste the sourness it it it, it buckers your lips a little bit um so far i like it though but uh manny let's go to you next what are you drinking hold on before manny matt didn't you get a new purchase today <laughs> very true can't skip I that did. not yes Matt got a new oh. purpose. Mr. T-Rex, what do you get? I bought about two months ago, I ordered a toilet seat bidet. <laughs> and uh, I have been tracking this thing. It's only coming from California. But, you know, with this whole quarantine lockdown, California's a world of their own out there. 
nothing was leaving. It was taking forever. I tried canceling the order twice. They're like, oh, it already left the facility, but yet tracking is still showing it at the facility. I finally get it, hooked it up today. Clean rear, it's called. <laughs> My butt has never been so clean. <laughs> it's like, Does it warm the water or do you get sprayed in the bunghole with icy cold water from the tap? Here's, that's a good question. Very good question. So, my last place I lived in, the, the guy who did our bathroom put a hot water feed into the toilet. And I was like, oh, I guess he said it, it prevents the calcium builds up. And I'm glad I don't have that now. There is no thermostat sensor on a toilet. So if you were to turn that on on a toilet, that's coming out like whatever it is, 160 degrees on your butt. I you can't have that. That's not okay. So this comes out ice cold. It will wake you up in the morning. <laughs> you will have, like I did it. I was like, oh, okay. That that's a little bit much. The only thing though is what are the big advertisements? They say it'll save on toilet paper. It takes more toilet paper to dry you off. Now do you do a, do you do a pre wipe and then you just do the rinse or are you just going straight for the shot and then whatever's left you're just gonna wipe it right off? Listen, there's so many details. There's, this is such a yeah. I could dive into this for an hour and a half. I'm like, glad. You know, I'm glad we're doing it's a half hour show. So we gotta. So we might have to come back to Matt for questions. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's so I, much to there's so much to talk about with butt cleanliness. Hold I on. mean, my my thought is. Poops out, you want to get the most off with the toilet, with the, with the water spray. As they say in, uh, I think it was uh, the French pool, where he goes, hey, if you had poop on your face, would you wipe it off with some paper? No, you're going to get water. <laughs> and that's what this is. You're going you're to high power wash, spray that right off. Get that off your butt. If I have poop on my face, I am getting it off as quickly as possible. There's, I'm not looking for water. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, no, leave it there until I get some nice hot soapy water. I'm just whatever but I Are got. you going to be content? Are you just going to take some toilet paper and be like, that's good. I mean, that's, okay. the first step. that's the first step. That's the, the emergency first step. <laughs> Poop on the yeah. face, get it off. But yeah, now, now you can, get, my face now you can get your butthole sprayed and your... <laughs> this, is, this is a conversation that needs to be talked about a little bit more in depth. All right, we'll end the podcast with that. Manny, you're up. All Sorry right. to interrupt you before, man. I've got pressure right. questions, like all kinds of things. <laughs> Roland's going to be thinking of questions the whole episode. Uh, today <laughs> I'm reviewing out. the Tangalorian. Is out of Frothy Beard, out of Charleston, South Carolina. 5%. Uh, let's see how we do. I'll try to pour as perfect as Matt, but as everyone knows, I'm an amateur with the pours. Looks better That's than not, last time, buddy. That's very true. Manny, I'm As I'm pouring, I just want to say, too, this is, we are filming on Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to all the men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country to allow us the opportunity to do the stupid shenanigans that we do. Appreciate it. Cheers. Nice said. Here, cheers. So, uh, Manny, I see you changed your background. It's a little bit off-center today. Yeah, I rearranged the room a little bit. That's good. Uh, this beer is phenomenal, not going to lie. It is, it's a sour, but it's not, not like too pucker. You don't get that pucker. It's like a really subtle sour to it. Um, reminds me a lot actually of that drink Orangina. If you remember that Orangina drink, it's got some really good kind of orange tangerine flavor going on. I sense a little bit of pineapple, uh, but it's incredibly smooth, perfect balance, perfect flavor. Um, like Matt, I'll probably wait to give a rating till the end of the glass, but right now this is pretty damn phenomenal. Oh man, I love it. Wow. Good. Ah, default, what do you got for <laughs> clean rear? A lot of weight in this week on scores. It's rough. Clear rear. All right, default, what do you got for us? I'm up. All right. Um well going into episode two, I'm gonna follow up my turf with a surf. Um I Listen, I don't do a glass. It's just not me. So, said it last week. I'm going out of the can. We'll see what we got. It's a Gosa. It's 7.4%. So, 
It'll bite for a shower, I guess. <sighs> See what happens. He's very interested. 7.4 in as a Goza? That's pretty impressive. That's so what the can says. Um, can it is from 12%, like we said last week. We had a big shout out to 12% last week. Or 13%, according to Rolando. Sometimes I get confused. What do you want from me? It's interesting. It definitely don't taste a shrimp in the lobster. But for a sour, it's pretty good. I, I feel like I could drink this. It's not overly sour. You don't you don't pucker up when you're drinking this. Um tough spot because the turf I would definitely buy again I don't know if the surf lives up to the turf and I think uh... so in case you didn't watch last week's episode it was a four pack with two turfs and two surfs so you're kind of a two for one deal so you had to get both anyone else try the turf Nope. I got them. I haven't tried them yet. I'm a huge 12% fan, but I've not had either one yet. Mike, what kind of flavors are you getting out of that? I mean, like, I get... That, there's seafood on the can. Are you getting seafood? <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know at this point if I'm getting seafood, honestly. I want to, but I'm not sure if I am. Mike, when I know when I had that the other day. I felt like you almost smelled the saltiness of the seafood. Well, you don't really taste the seafood. Oh, you don't. You don't smell. taste the shrimp or the whatever they're saying. But you, I feel like when you smell it, it's like it. It's like you're at a lobster party. It's like, oh well, it's in the air, but I'm not tasting it. I could feel I'm you like, on the oh, smell. I, I don't. I don't. Honestly, I'm, I could be third in a row and not have a score. I don't. I don't know. What do you think? That's uh, like a beachy clam bake drink. <clears throat> I mean, I could, I could drink it for a sour. I could drink probably a lot of these for a sour. I like your idea. That might go good with a lobster roll. But I mean, if it's made with lobster and shrimp, might as well put it with a lobster. Now, yeah, see, I'd fucking eat a steak with that. Then I get my surf and my turf. It's definitely there you for, go. for more of a loop than the turf did. Uh. Initial score of top of my head, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three seven five. That's still um, pretty high. It's a good score. It's good beer, but I, there's just a lot I don't know right now. So that's what I'm gonna go with for now. And uh, yeah, three seven five for the surf might be revisited. I'm not sure. Got to finish this uh, beer. From there, let's. Uh, who's up next? Uh, Rolando, you up? Yeah, I'm ready to give it a go. <clears throat> Even though uh, you know, I I going through my untapped history uh, while I sit here and and listen to, I've I've really no experience in the uh, sour goze. Uh, I've had like a two evil uh, geyser goze. I can't even open this beer. God's telling me not to drink this beer. There it goes. And I had like a tart with Weyerbacher. Roland, don't bring God into the conversations with you. But really clear. Really. That's that is picture perfect, Roland. Honestly, it looks a lot like a Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't taste like one. Yeah, no. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's a lot hoppier than I really ever would have anticipated for a sour. Because I've had, like the only sours I've had, I guess, were really, really sour, and this one is very hoppy. But it does say on the can a dry hop sour, which is why I chose it. So, well, ro you did say you do not enjoy sours today, you told me. Yeah, I am not a – I don't think I, I don't enjoy – well, I've only had a very limited number of sours as I reference my my uh, past history. But I was telling him 
if there's any beer on tap, like if there's a sour and literally anything on tap, I'm drinking anything. Not a sour, but there's this. I got the sour. I found it. It's, yeah, right, it's in there. Kids. Oh um, wow! I'm su- I'm surprised that beer wasn't gone in one sip. Wow. <clears throat> well, yeah, I took it. Well, it's a hefty. You know, not bad. Wow. That's probably the smallest beer. sip I've ever seen Roland drink a beer. The lingering, the lingering tartness is, is it didn't, I swear to God, it didn't smell like a taste. Your, your hot sour or stout went down pretty well. There it is. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. is. That was a bad idea. So, Roland, you use that terminology a lot? Didn't smell like a taste? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a blast from my college past. So, apparently we have, I don't so, know. Roland, speaking of college. This is a uh, – <laughs> did you get your doctorate yet? Yeah, all eight years without a doctorate? You're like the, you're like the uh, Van Wilder of today. <laughs> oh, I got way more than eight. I graduated high school in 1998, and I think my diploma says uh, 2005 when I walked, but I didn't finish that last class. I think until like – I want to say 2015 <laughs> – Oh my God. I think, I mean, it might have been, it's been a while. I was in college for a good amount of time. I know. Worse than Tommy I was there. You were there. You were there before me and you were there after me. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, definitely. <laughs> hey, back to beer. Roll. What is that beer you're drinking again? I am drinking um, jam, jam Up the Mash uh, from a collective arts brewing out of uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, on the untapped website, I guess they do several different can styles. I have a pretty, uh, pretty simple wine. Collective Arts does too, which is pretty awesome. They hired local artists to design all their cans. It seems well, like I have. Uh, there's definitely uh, a lot of, a lot of options as far as cans go, as you can see here. <laughs> lots of uh, lots of different styles. Lots of different styles. She decided to show the full Monty, uh, but lots of lots of different styles. That my, mine doesn't seem to be on here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. All right. So wait, wait. Go back to that. You got to go back to that. The no, no, no. Seriously, scroll down a little bit. Oh, let me see. Yeah, scroll down. Let me go to. Uh, there was a poor worse than mine. There was a poor worse than yours. Scroll down. Look at that guy on the bottom right. Keep going. Oh yeah! Look at that oh, shit! Wow! Wow! Oh, a mason jar. Yeah, but that is terrible. Damn! It's that you was... know what, Matt? I mean, it's a mason jar, but I've seen your uncle pour into a coffee mug better than that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a rough pour. At at eight forty five in the morning, <laughs> right after he finishes coffee, finish the coffee, pour in the bud heavy. Yeah. First, first coffee right into the Budweiser. Uh, All right. <laughs> After not having a sip for a while, the, the sourness is winding down. I'm definitely getting a um, – I don't even know. I guess it's fruity, but it's like it almost tastes um, fake fruity, like a bubblicious or something like that, but it's not as sweet. But it's that kind of fruit flavor, like definitely not a specific fruit. Very, very hoppy on the nose, but – That's about where it stops because that, that is sour. Woo. <laughs> it's a five, uh, it's a 5.2%. So let's see. I'm going to put this in the style is something I don't like. So I'm never going to drink. I mean, I got four of them, so I'm going to drink four of them, but I probably won't choose this beer again. <laughs> If I were to have somebody offer it to me at a party, I would say, do you have anything else? <laughs> but <laughs> I think, <laughs> think I'm going to put this into the – I'm going to go half – put it at 275. Oh, snap! 275. 
275. All right. And I think that's really just a representation of the fact that I am not a fan of sours, not necessarily the – I mean, if you're a fan of sours, it's it's got a – it's a very intriguing beer because it's hoppy, but it's also – a sour so it's you know it could appeal to the masses just not me <laughs> all right who uh who didn't go yet ryan let's give it a shot what do you got tonight a new guy in the group new guy all right well i'm uh i'm just finishing up this one from treehouse the passion fruit and hibiscus tart it's uh it's not bad but my review is going in a weird shaped glass. So we have the Van Art from Counterweight, and we're going in a nice Counterweight glass. What's the appropriate glassware for Sours? Does anybody Ooh, know? Class. That's very classy. Actually, that uh, Sours actually is supposed to go in that. Right, stemware? You know, down. Yeah, the, the stemware. You're welcome. Right? You hold it by the stem. It doesn't cool down the beer. I'm pretty just, sure. Yes. I have no idea if this is the right one or not, but it works. <laughs> Very good pour. <sighs> All right. Well, it's definitely uh, fruity. It packs a little sweet punch at the end the it's very aromatic it definitely smells good i'm starting to like sours more and more um kind of over all the ipas now and trying to branch out a little bit but this one is definitely very good it has that uh, blackberry, blackberry, yeah, blackberry. Um, they've got a another one that's um, I, don't know, I forget the flavor of their other one, but it's just as good. Um, I'm gonna, Ryan. I'm gonna interrupt you for a minute. I love the mutton chops. Is that the quarantine look you're going for? I'm just, I mean. It's its taken like four and a half months to get this, so. Jesus. Well, don't, don't quit on it, man. You got to keep I'm pretty going. proud of it. And I gave up on Caterpillar fucking mustache after first week. Done. Clean shaven, baby face is back again. Don't give it up. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, too, the, the aromatic, I mean. Nobody here except for Chris maybe understood that word. Really? I mean, what the fuck? You're, like, you're coming into the first podcast, uh, YouTube, and you're dropping these words. I don't know what you're talking about. I was half expecting him to drop drop in bouquet. <laughs> Good word, though. Flowery nice bouquet. Mm. That, that, uh, was coming, that was coming next. <laughs> what do you got? I'm a... I'm, uh... In the the world of sours, I'll uh, I'm probably gonna give this a four point two five. Wow, wow, that's big. I, I would definitely get this again. I know I've waited for them to post that they're that they have it again and gone and got it. So I'm definitely I'm a fan of this one. Uh, see, I I could I don't. I don't think I would ever give a sour a rating above like a three five, like three. So I actually just had, I just hopped on my untapped and I looked it up and uh, Van Art is my highest rated. Uh, that's my favorite sour beer there is. Like, I think it's awesome. And I also gave it a 4.25. <coughs> As for a sour, for me, like, <laughs> there's zero chance you're going to hit five for a sour. Like, yeah, I think I, I had one 
that was like 11%. And I was like, well, this is phenomenal just because it's yeah, a high a- percentage. But I think, I still think by the end of it, I was like, this is rough to finish because it wasn't sour anymore. It was just kind of boozy. What about the blueberry from up in Vermont at Foam? I didn't have that one. You were the uh, man. They had, they had um, at Foam, I had, I think it was raspberry. Was it raspberry, I, know, I personally gave that beer a five on untapped. I was blown away. I was already a little bit in the tank at the time, but I was blown away by how good that beer was. I know I, I definitely gave the raspberry sour five at Foam. It might have been raspberry. I was wrong. Blueberry, but oh, they might have blueberry too. Same shit. Yeah. I um, feel like sours are completely different because you can, at least I can, only have one, two, like one or two, and then they're too sour, too sugary, too whatever. Whereas like IPA or anything else, like you could drink all night and they still taste the same. That's very true. All right, we uh, we heading over to Mr. Alt over there. Yeah. So uh, I'm like Roland. I'm not big on uh, sours, but you know, I picked up uh, Taco King. Finch. Leave two. And uh, because I got so much shit last time for not pouring into a cup, I also brought my mug. <laughs> so I'll pour it into my mug. What the hell kind of a mug is that? Oh, this is a, so this is a tactical mug. mug. Got to describe said mug. This is a uh, tactical mug. I got my my bipod, my tripod. What the hell is that? You know, I got my. It's like a sniper mug. Yeah, just in case you need to snipe a beer from one of your friends from across the room or something. I got my uh, my pop up sights. You know, just in case I see a beer I want. There you go. Uh, I can zone in on it, and then I got my my little M16 handle on it. You know, right. for those of us watching this, on, uh, this video four. podcast here. Hold on. Before Bill, before, go ahead, JD. Bill, there's a label on the bottom. Who's that? Who makes that? Ricky this is by Emerson. So Emerson. this is a limited quality, quantity, apparently. Oh, so I got, I don't, it says number 999 of 12. So I'm guessing that they did a little backwards and I got number 12 of 999. <laughs> <laughs> quality right there. But it's, this thing is, is hefty. This thing is a good, probably five pounds. So have have you used it before? Is this the first time use? Oh no, I've used it before. All right. So does that does the tripod or the scopes? Can you use any of that with a beer inside? Or no, that's after you finish your beer. You got to set up. Wait, 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 wait. Have him use the beer in and then try it. Yeah, yeah, I've done that before. I mean, the 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 tripod worked perfectly if I'm trying to lay my beer down and I'm drunk. Instead <laughs> of trying to put it down like this, I just put the tripod out and I could fucking just heave it at the table and stands right up heave heave all right i'm gonna pour it in Are you sure? pour it. i'm not sure if that that fucking cup can hold it what are you drinking did you uh did you tell us yet i wasn't no uh, we're, we're more worried about the cup at this point i know apparently <laughs> so it's uh, i mean that's gonna be a pour for that's gonna be just as good as manny's pour down there the way he's i just want to say i have been shit-faced and i have seen shit-faced people fall Straight, straight down on their belly, and not spill a beer without a goddamn tripod. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm doing is upping the percentage of not dropping my beer. I mean, which is a good thing, you know. All right, so I did a little research. Taco Cats by Finch. It's brewed in canned in uh, Chicago, and uh, it's got. So they they did a little write up on it on their website. It's uh, zipping through space. The sour. Powered taco ship breaks down barriers of ordinary flavors. It said it's got tart lemon, lychee, passion fruit. Uh, and that's about it. It's a refreshing kettle sour that's made to guide you through the inner and outer space travels. And uh, yeah, I looked it up on uh, Untapped. And Untapped, I guess the the average that it gets is like a, a between a three two five and a three three five. Um, it's got 5% uh, alcohol, alcohol by volume. The IBU is 10, so I'm going to give it a try and see what it tastes like. What's the ABVs? Five. Five? I mean, right off the bat, it uh, not very sour, which I kind of like. Um, I mean, I am getting a little lychee. 
um, right off the right off the bat. Not Wait. sure what passion fruit tastes like. Wait, Chef um, Bill, lychee. You gotta give him shit. If you're gonna give me shit. Oh, so, sorry. Like, like you're getting lychee. that off the bat. I didn't know your palate was so extensive. <laughs> no, the <laughs> only reason I know what lychee is is because I served in Hawaii. In Hawaii, they put fucking lychee on everything. So Roland, Roland's away. So what can can you show me what lychee looks like? I'm sorry. Like, is it? I mean, herb, it, spice? Yeah, I, like, I gotta look it up. Well, yeah, well I Roland, don't really have a lychee yeah. plant in my fucking house. I'm sorry. You said <laughs> I got. I got, definitely got lychee in the beer. It's well, amazing. lychee is it's a sour. Um, it's a fruit. It's a very sour fruit, and it just. I mean, let me, see if I, the other room, let me see if I can get you a a picture. Bill, I mean, it's probably not gonna have tits in it, but. So, Bill, I get overruled. My wife said it's lychee. Ooh. Lychee or is it lychee? Ooh. Lychee. Ah. You know, what the fuck are you oh. showing us right now? Yeah, that, that's, wife that's, that's, that's what lychee is. Roland, you got to look up lychee or light, whatever Bill says. I'm going with lychee. my wife on this one. So, okay. I'm so going with Jamie's wife. Review. Cook. Wait a minute. You're going with your wife on this one. Yeah, Everybody. that's the first, Jim. Hold on, Jim. <laughs> Jim's just happy she let him upstairs. There you go. <laughs> I have to change the background for <laughs> a while. Wait, does it say how to pronounce it? Ron, oh, so why do you have butt leggings that? coming in with lychee, lychee? Yeah, what's going on with that butt? <laughs> oh, yeah, but... Hey, Roland, type Bill? in pronunciation after that. We got to see this. Yeah, Roland, can you bring up the pronunciation, sir? Hold on. Right lychee. Oh, that's definitely lychee. <laughs> lychee. Uh, Hawaii, they pronounce it lychee. So press the button, Roland. Roland, Roland press the, the talking button. You press it wrong. Didn't hear anything. Oh, he's muted. Oh, that's awesome. Good job, Roland Vega. <laughs> I have, wow, we're I have to go back. Oh, I need. I, there's an extra step here. I don't know how to do this with like screen and everything. So. Go back. Hold on. All right, ready? Everybody, be quiet. Lychee. Yep. Oh, I'm lychee. Wow. I'm still going with lychee. No! This is why Kate, I go with my wife. <laughs> Kate for the win. AD, good job, Sweet Pea. So I'm still going with Lychee. <laughs> what do you got for a score there, Bill? I guarantee they loved you out there. So, I mean, I I enjoy it, and I'm not really a big sour guy, but. Or a lychee. <clears throat> so at least you get points for a cool ass cup. I mean, I got five more of these to finish so once i'm done i'll give you a score no uh, it's definitely oh, going to be above muted. a three though i'm going for beer number two in my university of new haven my alma mater glass since i finally graduated college definitely <laughs> suing us after this roland's got the most expensive bachelor degree ever i think he has two bachelors you gotta at least give him credit for that i think you have two and uh <laughs> I have a lot of degrees, actually. I've got a whole bunch of them because I couldn't transfer credits. So I just finished them all. <laughs> <laughs> was no, but I, I mean, I, I enjoy it. I'm, I'm a fan. No right. score, though? You're going to hold off, Bill? It's going to be above a three, but I want to have a couple before I give well, a full. That, you know, if I start getting sick of them after the second can, which I'm pouring now. I think Jim's the last up right now, and – we still got to revisit Chris and Matt, or so. Yeah, see what happens. We still have, we still have a bunch of scores. All right, JD. I actually kind of like that we're going to do scores at the end. I think once you finish your can, once you get through it, maybe one, two. Apparently, Bill's going to drink six with his lychee. <laughs> I mean, we'll see how it goes. I'm going in for four if I can. You know, I'm going to crank them down. I'm sure <laughs> your wife loves you for that. So I'm going to do Dead Summer Two. Little disservice for counterweight because it actually says. Drink fresh in the company of friends. So at least I got the company of friends, but this is not fresh. This was last year's Dead Summer. Dead Summer 1 came out two years ago. This is last year. Counterweight, I'm a huge fan. Hopefully they come out with a Dead Summer 3. Um, I know a bunch of you guys on the podcast have had this. I know, Chris, I definitely hooked you up with this one time. Uh, Defo, I, I gave you this too. Um, sure, this is yeah. a collaboration with uh, Hope Gallery. Um, it's uh, a Berlin Weiser, and uh, it's brewed with boysenberry. 
Um, it's only a 4.8. So obviously with the summer, you're supposed to drink light, drink a lot of water, hydrate. Yeah, what style of beer is that again? A Berlin Weiser. You sure you're pronouncing yeah. that correctly? Probably not. <laughs> Weiser. <laughs> so let's see. Ooh, love the color. Oh, got to go higher. Is that Dead of Summer 2? Yes, sir. All right, not the best pour. Had to go a little higher than normal. Good so, pour, though. Good pour. Not bad. I got the little American flag. Memorial Day weekend. Let's see. I like the artwork on that. Yeah, so I have the Dead of Summer 1 can. I can definitely go grab it if I need to. Um, both art cans are very, very nice. It actually says Dead Summer 2, Finger, Brains, and Beer. So very cool with that. Sounds um, appetizing. I gave this a very high score the first time I drank it. I'm sure I was hot and thirsty. I Even at this, after sitting for a full year, I would still give this a very high score. Um, I'm being very more critical of beers. Matty T-Rex, as we talked about earlier. Um, since we're going to start doing this, we really got to, you know, fives are going to be hard to give. I think I gave this a 4.5 the first time. Um, I'm not going to knock it down a full point, but I would do a 3.75. I mean, the fizz went away quick, as you guys see. So you can definitely tell this beer has been sitting a little while, but it's still got pungent flavors. I can definitely taste the berry. I can – the sour and tartness is – um, very light in the background, very muddled. Um, would I drink a whole six? No. Like I'm four packs. I would definitely do two, three. Maybe I switch it up to another sour, maybe something else, but I would definitely get this again. Hopefully, like I said, they come out with Dead Summer 3, and I'll be running counter rate to grab this. But uh, you, I would again, do seven, five. BD, yes. you are a big counter weight fan, though, right? Like, you enjoy counter weight, you like a lot of their beer, so. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was uh, for you. Oh, 100 percent. So counterweight, I've I've been a fan since they started. Uh, I'm actually a huge fan of 12 percent now too, uh, as you can kind of tell. I'm from Connecticut, you know. So with the local beers up here, they distribute a, a locally more. 12 percent has a little bit more of a uh, pull, but uh, yeah, I mean up here we got some we got some good breweries and stuff like that. But huge fan. This is this is a really good beer, even after a year. This 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 is definitely sellable, even though it says drink fresh. Yeah, that was the beer that they uh they did. It was like a tattoo thing, right? Yes. Like the that kids whole, collaborated with a tattoo, tattoo parlor. Thing. That's what that whole thing is about. Yeah, so that might be Hope Gallery. That that's probably the tattoo part. Yeah. So yeah. the team of the Hope Gallery to make their label. Well, look yeah, up so Hope Gallery. Actually, on uh, August twenty fifth, I'm assuming of last year, uh, Counterweight and Hope Gallery. Uh, tattoo, Dead of Summer 2, a boysenberry Berliner Weiss. Yep. Uh, I'm sure they had some kind of event at the brewery from 12 to 8. But, yeah, it's definitely Hope Gallery Tattoo. Yeah, Hope Gallery is in New Haven. Yeah, I think they did, like, a an art gallery, art sale thing where Hope Gallery did all the, like, the paintings or whatever, and they sold those for charity. Yeah, so – what it, look, it doesn't even look like it's a tattoo shop. Well, no, it's got artists. So it's a, it's a tattoo shop and a gallery, which looks pretty freaking cool. So at, at, ironically enough, I actually uh, built the, the, the front of that building. And I think if I remember correctly, when I was there, I think he was on one of those uh, reality TV shows. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, uh, like the one with the guy from Nine Inch Nails? Yeah, I well... I could say yes. I really have no idea, but he. I think somebody told me, and this is obviously all hearsay. But he was a, a winner of one of the uh, reality TV show tattoo shows. But uh, yeah, he's right. He's actually right in East Haven. I think it's technically New Haven, but it's all the way. It's on the other side of the queue in, in East Haven. It's yeah, it's on Woodward there. Ave. Right across from the fireside. So who's still got a review? We got one left, JD. Who's up? One yeah, left. I think it's oh, everybody. It's everybody. Good. So everybody oh, need a couple scores, though. So, yeah. yeah so I, mean, I know Matt hasn't thrown a score. Manny, I'm ready. All right, let's go, Matty. Hold on, hold on, Matt. <laughs> T Rex, before you go, Bill, what was your score? Did you throw? Uh, a score? 
Uh, I hadn't given one. So we got three left. I'm going to go with a four. Four oh? Because like my like Matt said last oh well, probably about an hour ago now. Anything over a four he'd buy again. And I would buy this again. It wouldn't be my oh shit, I got top cat or taco cat, I'm gonna go buy it. But if I saw it and I wanted a sour, I would definitely get Taco Cat again. So I'm going to give it a four. All right. Uh, T-Rex, I didn't mean to cut you off. I thought Bill already gave his score. So oh, hold on. Right. It's up to you but now. No, end with T-Rex. Sorry, Matt, cutting off again. Manny, you didn't get one? Did you give your score yet? Jim, take it. I'm going to T-Rex. No, no, no. He's got to end it because he's got this whole bidet thing. Right. He's got questions. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on. Matt's ending. A lot of things. <laughs> That's all true. Right, all right. So with uh, the Tangalorian, I've been debating here because I am a huge fan of sours. I know a few of you guys aren't, but I love sours. So in the winter, I go stout. In the summer, I go sour. I'm an enormous fan. My personal bias score is quite high. I'm trying to be objective. Um, so my objective score on this for the podcast is going to be 4.25. That's egregious. My personal <laughs> bias score is 4.75, which I know is – Jesus. I would buy this again and again and again. I love this beer. But would you bathe in it? For that. Frothy Beard, thank you very much for Tangalorian. This is phenomenal. I don't, I can't, I don't even want to be on the same screen as you anymore. <laughs> well, hold on. T Rex is up. Is he going to no, wait, wait, wait. Ryan, hold on. Sorry. I got to come Go off again. It. Ryan, you said you <clears throat> might want to re rate your score. Are you still good with yours? I think I'm good with mine. And Roland, you can barely talk a little thing. Are you good with your score? I mean, I, I can't go any higher. I can't. I, I'm That's in my right. second beer. I can't. Rex, you're ending it. All right, so Jim, you score Jim, and you're, tell us about your uh, clear. Your nickname, Jim, should be Minivan because you're cutting everybody off. It's okay because we're on like 45 minutes right now. We're going we to move this along. T-Rex, so, what do you got? Mine's uh, actually 6.5%, which I didn't say earlier. So that's actually that's a bit higher on the uh, sour rating. As I said, Van Art is one of my higher ratings for a sour. It's one of my favorites, favorite ones out there, 4.25 I gave it. This one, every sip I took, I was kind of uh, overtaken by the sourness. I was like, eh, it's a little bit too much. Um, I'm going to go three. One of the three, like it was all right. I, I'm, I'm not gonna buy it again. I'm not against it, but I'm not the hugest fan of sours. Um, but compared to Van Art, it just doesn't hold a candle. <laughs> well, I think uh, it's it's been a long episode, and I'd love to go with the clues here for top beer, bottom beer. But I, I we we gotta spend five minutes before we hit that on the bidet. So, Roland, you got a ton of questions. I, well, first of all, I want to just – I, I, I was incorrect now that I've done a quick amount of research. The guy over at East Haven, the tattoo parlor, Joe Capabianco, he's actually a, a, a judge on a show. He, was, he didn't win a thing, I don't know, but he's at a, his own tattoo parlor over there. It's a pretty sweet spot. Either the guy or the girl. <laughs> Minivan's got his blinker on. He wants to cut you off. Yes, me. So, what I'm saying is, since we're over time, tune in next week. Maddie T. Rex will talk about his bidet. Oh. And don't forget Ooh. to like us on uh, Untapped. Follow us on YouTube. We have an Instagram yet? Uh, we have butt talk, apparently. Uh, you gotta get an Instagram. We don't have an Instagram. We got our, we got our Untapped, which we got to update a little better. Um, Barley underscore boys at YouTube. Um, Top beer tonight, if we want to end it right now. We had a tie. It was Rye. You guy and the crew here tonight came in strong with a 425 for the Van Art counterweight. Um, tied with Chris down in South Carolina, Manning. 4.25. What was it, Chris? Tangalorium? The Tangalorium. Yeah. Sounds like there a bad beard. And I'm untapped out of 231 check ins, it's 4.21. So he's pretty close with that. Yeah, tie for the top. Um, bottom bear of the night, though, goes to Rolando. <laughs> right here. Nice. Quarter mile away from myself. Right up the street. I think I can see him right now. 
Yeah, I mean, um, Big Mike making me yeah, crack out the window. Collective Arts, which I'm very shocked. Collective Arts is a good beer, but came in bottom tonight. You know, Here's again. A, I think it has to do with my personal bias against these. They can't, they can't all be home runs either, man. Every brewery, like, they can't all be home runs. That's true. And uh, as T-Rex said last week, we are not professionals, not anything but a bunch of us and with our kids hanging out, drinking some beer. So um, great time tonight, boys. And, yeah, we'll see you next week or two weeks whenever our editor's back. Have a Memorial Day, boys. Happy Memorial Day. We're going to act together and do this again. <laughs> <laughs> One small sip for man, one giant pint for mankind.